All right, man. I got a problem. I got a big problem with somebody. And, uh, yeah, I contacted them. I'm not going to give out their name just yet, but I received this. I received this in the mail. eBay. Purchased on eBay. Now, these are purchased on eBay, too. I can tell these are legit. These are sealed. But whatever the heck this is, this is not properly sealed. This is re-sealed by all means necessary. And, um... <laughs> Man, they bet I don't even know what I want from this person. I don't even think I don't even think I want a refund. I think I just want to put them on blast. And that's really all I want to do. Because if they're doing this to, to me, they're gonna do this to anybody. You know? I mean, they don't know who I am. I told them, I'm like, really? I'm a YouTuber, dude. I'm still gonna put you on blast. This is like fake. Just wait. Just wait, baby. Just wait. I don't know what their response is gonna be or what they're gonna do. But clearly, this is a resealed job looking to strip out all the good pre-release promo cards in here and replace them with absolute junk. Not acceptable, guys. All right, moving forward, though. How's everybody doing, baby? I'm going to let that uh, let that simmer, see what happens. Um, got a little something from don't know who, but this is what my post office does. They just don't clear off the stamps. So I just re rip them off and reuse them sometimes. Uh, yeah, 264 was due out of Joey Moss's broke bank account. He's having a baby, and people are like, you know what we're going to do to you, Moss? We're going to make sure you pay extra money so you can't afford diapers. And I'm like, all right, Bill, that's enough. That's enough out of you, Billy. That'll be enough. Eldritch Moon, baby. We got some Eldritch Moon in the house. Look at gorgeous Liliana. You know, she's worth a pretty penny nowadays. That's right, a pretty penny. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's not on the block no more. That's right. What is going on with that down there? Is they all like that? What is going on with that down there? What is going What is going on with that down there? What is happening with my Oh, what the heck is go Is this a misprint box? Did we just get a misprint box? What is going on? Does anyone have an answer? What is go Okay, wait, what? Wait, that, no, no, stop it. What is going on, guys? Look at that. I don't know. We got to, we got okay, we, we'll find out more in a minute. What is going on with that? Okay. I might just be tripping, boo. All right, we are going to put the, the, the pre-release pack over there. And we got Shadows over Innistrad. That's right, they used to do it like that. Shadows over Innistrad and then Eldritch Moon. Seven. Two. Son of a bitch. Man. All right, we're going to give it a go. Whoa, 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 whoa. On the back, though, we got this shiny token. How about that? All right. Here is the little pamphlet you get inside of one of these Eldritch Moons. These are not cheap by any means. Uh, for one of these, you're looking at between $38 and $42 for one of these Eldritch Moon. Let's get to cracking, Captain. Woo! See what's up inside. I have been hearing complaints. People don't like that I'm not opening packs and boxes and stuff, so I thought we'd mix things up and actually open some older stuff. What do you think of that, Billy? Rush of Adrenaline. Oh, every day I get a Rush of Adrenaline, man. Just living and breathing. Rabid Bite, that's right. It's been reprinted, my friends. Alms of the Vein. Reduced to Ashes. Briar Bridge Patrol. Nasty. Human Warrior. The Gibbering Fiend. Grife's Boon. And Harness the Storm. Sweet artwork. Not the best card in the world. For three, it's an enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand, you may cast target card with the same name as that spell from your graveyard. I don't know, man. I don't think that ever really took off. Anybody? I mean, I, I don't think I really was too big a part of the standard for here uh, in this set. But, you know, Village Messenger. All right. And this is a flip. Oh, Second Harvest. Wow. I think that's a pretty good one. For each token you control, put a token on the battlefield. That's a copy of that permanent. That's, I think, pretty phenomenal. We got the nasty foil of it. <laughs> That's right, baby. And a spirit token out the back. First pack was pretty lit. I gotta say, it was pretty lit, man. Might want to get the fire extinguisher out for this one, boys and girls. All right, the broken, the ukut, and the eerie interlude. This chick reminds me of some stuff I see in my nightmares. Exile any number of target creatures you control. Return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. There you have it. Kindly stranger. This old lady, man, not really a good friend to... Ah! Could you imagine? That's really the stuff of nightmares right there. This chick right here. 
Demon Possessed Witch. Oh my god, no thank you, man. Stay out of my dreams, lady. And we got a clue. There you go. Now the Eldritch Moon Packs. These packs could contain some pretty hefty cards. We're going to find out right now. All right, we got the Fortune's Favor. One of these, one of those. The Mountain Maw and the Pre-Meeting Mass. Permeating Mass. I remember this card. Uh, whenever Permeating Mass deals combat damage to a creature, that creature becomes a copy of Permeating Mass. People went nuts when this card first came out. They all thought it was going to be like something crazy huge, and it just went kerplunks. Didn't do a whole lot in standard, must say. But there was a, there was some hopes, man. There was a time I used to look into my father's eyes. In a happy mass home in the middle of the woods. I was a king, I had the gold throne. Oh! Okay, long, clear. Courageous. Sanctifier of souls. What does it do? Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Sanctifier of souls gets plus one, plus one until end of turn, and for three. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. Put a one, one white spirit creature token with flying on the battlefield. Sanctifier of souls. Pretty interesting card there. It's all bit please. And zombie token out the back there. With uh, the good old island. Okay, we are just all over the map here. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. What's inside? The Watch Giraffe. We got the Watch Giraffe. Speed things up a little bit here, guys. Fortune's favor. The praying question. Give no gown. Oh, Grim Flayer. Welcome to the party, baby. Welcome to the party. Trample. Whenever Grim Flayer deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of your library. Put any number of them into your graveyard and the rest on top of your library in any order. Delirium. Grim Flayer gets plus two, plus two, as long as there are four or more card types among cards in your graveyard. Sweet little pool right there. Sweet little pool. And we got the old flipper of this uh, nasty Eldrazi werewolf. You don't see that every day. Pretty cool. Wow, that was nice. That was nice indeed, man. Last pack of Eldritch Moon in this uh, bundle. This little uh, packaroo, this little pre-release kit. That's right. Let's see what we get. We got the Abandoned Reason. One of these. And the Bedlam Reveler. Not bad. This was a really good kit, I must say. This card sees uh, quite a bit of modern play, believe it or not. Eight drop, but Bedlam Reveler costs one less to cast for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. We've got the Prowess. When Bedlam Reveler enters the battlefield, discard your hand, then draw three cards. Great refiller. And it is really, really doing it up in modern. Uh, I think there was a top eight. Yeah, there was a top eight deck running some Bedlam Revelers, believe it or not. Um, and everyone thought that card was kind of bunky. Uh, in standard, I don't think it see. I don't think it had a heck ton of play. But then someone just picked it up and was like, "Wait a minute, this is a beautiful replenisher for red," you know. And uh, yeah, it just took off from there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open this puppy up. I could be wrong about standard. I'm not sure. I don't remember Bedlam Reveler being that great outside of standard. I, I know not at the time it wasn't, but who knows? So okay, they're all like that. There's. <laughs> Joey Moss, you are just a rascally rabbit. Now, this is going upside down. Oh, we didn't see the pre-release one. What is it on this one? This one is the permeating mass. The permeating mass. There you go. That's what the greenage. We got the permeating mass. Nothing crazy. Can we get a three? Eleven. Good band. Good band indeed. All right, putting this back over here. A little truffle shuffle. Start things off with Shadows Over Innistrad, baby. Shadows Over Innie. Who was around for this set? Did you guys play in this? What's this? Were, were you part of this? Were you part of this? Jimmy? Billy? Timmy? Tommy? Battle? Mm -hmm. Stencia Masquerade. Oh, man. She is fiery. Get a load of her. She just needs to be spanked. The Wood. Investigation. Oh! Pulls a sword. Grim Nemesis. Smack me in the tape, baby. <laughs> Oh my god. Soren Grim Nemesis. Big old six drop. Loving my planeswalkers. And back then, it was a big deal to pull a planeswalker. It was a huge deal to pull a planeswalker. If you got a planeswalker, man, that was like really cool. People were thumbs up in you, high fiving you on the LGS, pulling your pants down and giving you the rusty trombone. That didn't happen, but you could imagine. Uh, but man, Soren Grim Nemesis. Pretty sweet. And six drop. Plus one, reveal the top card of your library and put that card into your hand. Each opponent. Gives Soren a little, a little, a little tip there. Uh, into your hand, each opponent loses life equal to its converted mana cost minus X. Soren Grim Nemesis deals X damage to target creature or planeswalker, and you gain X life. Yeah, buddy. Minus nine. Put a number of one one black vampire and knight creature tokens with life on the battlefield equal to the highest 
life total among all players. I'm surprised I didn't see more commander play. Anybody else with me on that one? Harvest Hand and the Scrounge Scoitha. All righty. There you go, mate. Now we just went down under. Werewolves and down under. All right. See we can open up in here. The Chaplain's Blessing. Beautiful stuff blends you up there. We got Dissension to and the Rikes, matey. All right, Creeping Dead, Dread, whatever. Illuminator and Corrupted Graphstone. You don't say. Uh, and it was a battlefield tap. Choose a color of a card in your graveyard. Add one mana of that color to your mana pool. All right. And Convicted Killer. Oh, you poor guy. Really? Well, geez, I wonder why. You turn into a werewolf. Of course you're a convicted killer, silly goose. And we got some token fun for you guys. There we go. Don't ask why I'm doing the packs the way I am. I don't know. On to Eldritch Moon we go. Can we find something beautiful? Rise from the Grave, the Axe, the Murder, Mo Murder Mo, and Selfless Spirit. Not bad. Good card. Good pull. Two drop, flying, uh, sacrifice self of spirit, creatures you control, get indestructible until end of turn. That is a really good card. Does he play? And we got the Graph Rats with Villain Pack Outcast Foil. Pretty cool. These flips are foiled back in front. And uh, that's an Eldrazi Werewolf, man. Watch out there, my friends. You don't see an Eldrazi Werewolf every day of your life. All right, moving on, moving on, baby. That is a cool pool, though. Like, I really like that swimming pool. Movie Stars, that's right. Beverly Hillbillies. Eldritch Moon. Pack two. Come on, baby. Give me something juicy, juicy, juicy. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Prying questions. I got plenty for you. Next thing, Faith, Stitcher's Graft. Right up in that piece. There you go. The one drop. Equip creature gets plus three, plus three. Whenever equip creature attacks, it doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Whenever Stitcher's uh, Graft becomes unattached from a permanent, sacrifice that permanent. Just uh, no, that's not really that good of a Oh, Drown Yard Behemoth. Got a second Eldrazi out of here. Pretty legit, man. I was hoping for some big bad Eldrazi's. Looks like we're getting a little something, a little taste of it, a little taste here and there. And we got the Eldrazi horror creature token. Bada bang. Eldritch Moon out of the next pack of room. Let's go, baby. Let's do this. Let's do this up. We got prying questions. Ride down. This card just seemed out of place in this set. I mean, I'm just saying. It really seemed out of place. Great card, though. Uh, seemed out of place. Spirit of the Hunt. Flash. When Spirit of the Hunt enters the battlefield, each other creature you control, that's a wolf or a werewolf, gets plus zero, plus three until end of turn. Three, three. There you go. I could see some. Uh, imagine that along with uh, the other crap we got going on right now in Standard. Pretty interesting sauce, my friends. Pretty interesting sauce. All right. Flash Bick. I can't talk. We'll just stop right there. All right. Uh, abandoned Reason. There you have it. Dusk. Crop. Summary Dismissal. Exhale all of our spells and counter all abilities. Yikes, man. That's pretty nuts. Uh, Graph Rats. And that is it. What was our pre-release card? Can it be something good? Let's find out together. Boom! Handwire Battlements. Pretty cool. There's a flip to this, though. So we got part of it, though. It's pretty legit. Target creature gains haste until end of turn. And then for five, if you both own and control Handwire Battlements and a creature named Handwire Garrison, exile them, then meld them into the Handwire of the Withering Township. Let's just flip this over so you can see really quick what that's all about. If I can get put this thing open here, I swear. Sometimes I struggle with everything in life. Struggles are real, man. Here we go. Oh, you only can only see the top of it. But man, isn't that sweet? I want the whole full uh, foil of that. That's pretty cool. All right. There you have it, ladies and germs. That is that. And let's get on with the opening of whoever sent this lovely package where Joey Moss had to pay $2.64. Let's give it a gander. Let's give it a gander. Little Billy, I hope I didn't hurt your feelings too much. But that's life, my friend. All right. Oh, he did include return shipping. He did, he did, he did indeed. I think. I don't know what this is. He included a return envelope. This is sealed. In what is going on here? What is going on here? What What are the... What is... Here's my address. Okay, there's your... Okay, I'll keep that aside. I gotcha. Something's up inside of here. And this is here as well. Okay. I'm a temple of my lady. Do you like that, my lady? Um, all right, I think I need to open this. 
Um, okay. We got we got something inside of here. And inside inside of here, okay, inside of there was this. Pull this back. Make sure there's no other thing of bobbers here. Very interesting. Skadoosh, my ninja. Oh, wonderful. Dear Joy Moss, I've been watching your videos for a few months now, and I'm a huge fan of yours. I only started to get into magic around the time Guilds of Ravnica came out. Keep making those really busted standard decks. I try to. They're really fun to watch. Well, thanks, man. I'm in process of making one of your decks from Arena on paper. Since my internet is not very good where I live, mine either, and my computer is very old, I need a new one. I have a few cards I would like you to sign. I have not become a patron for you yet, but I will be doing that really soon. Nathan G. Nathan G. Really Nathan G. So you sent me some cards. You, so, Nathan, let me get this straight. You sent me some cards you want me to sign and return back to you. And I got to pay all the postage on it. And I got to pay extra postage because you didn't send enough. Now, everybody, Nathan, I, I, I appreciate you as a fan. But, Nathan, just think if I did this for every single one of my 89,000 fans. Nathan, I don't have that kind of money. Everyone, don't be like Nathan. Make sure you take care of the postage. Good thing is I can reuse these. Um, I, I, yeah, I, Nathan, you could have just shipped this in a normal envelope. You didn't have to include this nice little thing here. But you did, Nathan. You did, didn't you? You had, you had to do that. You fucking had to do it, didn't you, Nathan? You had to piss off old Joey Moth, didn't you? Ah, uh, okay, guys. Everything's fine. Let's just crack this open and see what's inside. What do we got in here, Nathan? Anything good? Let's take a look. Temple of Milady, Temple of Silence, and a full art mountain. There you go, Billy. All right, I will get this back to you, man. But please, guys, do not, do not ship stuff and um, be, be low on postage and all that and include no return postage. I mean, I, I just, I can't do that. I just, I can't do it. I can't ship like that. I mean, that's, that's no way to run any kind of sort of business at all. I love you guys. Um, let's go skadoosh yourselves, especially you, Nate. Jerk. Just kidding, man. Love you. All right. Later, guys.